Support ProPlay Games on Patreon! Hey guys, this is Brito here, and today I'll be bringing you a security control deck profile for EX4. Uh, we got some pretty cool support that came into the set, so I just want to show you how I'm be updating my security control list. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let me uh, start off by showing you the options, because that's the biggest part of security control. So, for the first options, uh, four of chaos degradation, it's kind of a staple for security control, so not going to get too much into that but yeah uh chaos degradation and then for flame hell scythe it's another staple uh, helps you minus 6k to something and then bring out a 6k dp yellow or purple uh from your trash so ideally your is going to be your targets are usually going to be your magnet that's what helps you heal another option i want to get into here is four of lonky lonky out of stock though this one i love it it's one of my favorite removals aside from from chaos degradation it's something that almost always comes up for me whether whether i'm at three or more security or three or less uh this card just this is one of the best removals in the game for me especially not the non-deletion removal part the the part where it puts the when your opponent's digimon at the top of the security it just bypasses so many different uh, removal protections so yeah four of lonky another staple in the security control is four of holy wave one of uh yeah it's one of your main forms of healing and that's what you want to do in security control just as soon as you take damage heal and that's it i'm also running four of holy flame pretty much i don't mind just hard playing this and giving one of my opponents digimon minus three security but when it gets hit into security it helps out so so much so so much next option i want to get into is the one of reinforced memory boost it's probably another good form of healing it's literally you just play that and then you look at the top two of your deck put one in security and one into your hand one option that i think a lot of people sleep on that i run in this deck is the bt11 holy sunshine so what this card does is that when you use this card from your hand, if you have a yellow tamer, reduce the cost by one. So instead of an eight cost, it's a seven cost. And then its main effect is until the end of your opponent's turn, three of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5k DP and gain security attack minus one. So oftentimes when your opponent builds somewhat of a wide board, it's not really going to be a wide board full of big stacks. Oftentimes it's going to be that one big stack and maybe two maybe three level fours or lowers and holy sunshine usually helps out clearing the the board either you take out all three of their weenies or you take out two of them and then you just the minus 5k and minus one security to the big stack and you do that on, and it's lasts until the end of your opponent's turn so this helped me out so many times when my opponent had game against me they had they have the swings they have the the damage and then this just comes out and it just either kills everything on the board or stops them from having anything the holy sunshine i'm the only thing i regret is not running it at more uh running it at two is totally fine but i love this card so much i just would like to run it out more and i think the last options i have here are two blade of the true uh one thing uh, uh security control usually struggles with is hand value so you're oftentimes just playing a kill spell to kill one of your opponents uh, digimon you or you just play a tamer down or you just play a digimon down you're never really getting more in hand values the blade of the true helps out with that a lot helps you kind of filter your hand okay now let me get into the tamers i'm only running four memes or the purple memes the bt3 ones so yeah this is mainly to help me kind of either tax my opponent when he uses an option or just help me choke my opponent when i play a, a heavy option i tap these to make it even cheaper one thing that i that i want to point out to some of the some of the people when you when you slide X antibody under your Digimon, you're technically using that card. A lot of people actually forget that. So they're at zero, they slide X antibody. I tap Mimi, pass turn. So yeah, Mimi, super good. Love the card. Uh, now for the rest of the Tamers, I'm running two TK Takashi from BT11. Uh, what I like about him is simply just security information. When I hard drop and I get take a look at my security, I can tell how screwed I am or how good i am in in that game depends on, on on what i see in my security oftentimes i use this to get my salamons out of security because salamons live in security and i usually just like to keep everything up uh, my only real targets are either 
any of my yellow Digimon or maybe maybe a yellow Tamer. Uh, but oftentimes it's yellow Digimon. One Kari Kamiya from BT8. I prefer this ratio to TKs and one Kari mainly because it's 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 nice when you recover when you tap her to, to gain one memory. But I I want to prioritize security information. Uh, and the last two of the tamers that I'm running are the TK and Kari's. Uh, they're honestly just to uh, either remove small bodies when I swing with the, with the yellow Digimon or just to gain memory when I'm at less security than my opponent. Sometimes gaining that extra memory to help you have more memory to use your heavy cost options and not put your opponent to, to a billion is great. So yeah, that's why I like these guys. So for the rookies, I am only going to be running three Sally's. Oftentimes you want to run four, but I'm trying to make space for everything else. So three Sally's are more than fine. Either way, I, I only promote Sal uh, Salomon when I'm at three or lower security. And even then, like I, I only do it in certain scenarios. Four Magna Angemons. The four Magna Angemons are, yep, are one of the main forms of recovery in this deck. Uh, yeah, you use the Holy Waves to recover. You use Reinforced Memory Boost to recover. You use the Magna Angemons to recover. And then you use the Flame Hell Sights to play the Magna Angemons from the trash to recover. And I am also running two Maycrack Vicious modes. Uh, they're mainly here for the purple source as well as their inheritable. Their inheritable will come up when it comes to the next level six. I am running three of the Promo Seraphimon. So uh, not a lot of people run this because it's kind of a somewhat of a lackluster level six compared to some of the other level sixes that, that we tend to run in security control. Um, I opted for this over, let's say, Venusmon or Ofani Falldown mode, mainly because it's not only does it win Digivolve Recover one, it also has On Deletion Recover one. So it's another form of recovery, but it also gets into the other level six that I run in this deck is the Shadow Seraphimon. So Shadow Seraphimon Digivolves from a Seraphimon for one memory, which is why we run the the promo Seraphimon. And then it has an opponent's turn effect. When a card is removed from your security stack, de-digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. This helps out a lot for just about every aggressive deck that goes against us, especially the stack ones. So for example, you go against Wargrey and yeah, they swing at your security. You're gonna do three, four, five checks. Each time they do a check, you de-digivolve them by one. That will make the difference in that. It also has an on deletion effect, recovered deck. Uh, one, so recover one. Then one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 4,000 DP for the turn for each card in your security stack. So the higher you have your security, the more minus DP it's going to have. But honestly, at around three to four security, you're just going to be killing just about everything that's going to be hitting you. Shadow Seraphimon, broken card. Love it. Uh, the final the final Digimon in this list is Shine Gray Ruin Mode from EX4. So this is actually a really, really broken card. I love it. I love it a lot. So what it does is when digivolving and on deletion, not once per turn, so when digivolving on deletion, until the end of your opponent's turn, all of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5,000 DP. So what that means is it's pretty much a blanket effect. Everything gets minus 5K DP until the end of your opponent's turn. If they end up promoting a Digimon the next turn, that Digimon gets minus 5,000 DP without prejudice. Uh, it also has an end of attack. So let's say you digivolve and then you swing the same turn. Uh, if it stays on the board after it does battle or after any resolution of an effect, it says end of attack. Delete this Digimon and one of your opponent's Digimon and recover one. Then if you have a tamer in play, hatch one egg to an empty space in your breeding area. So pretty much uh, it deletes it. You delete something else. You recover one. Uh, then you hatch an egg. What's cool is that you also end up getting its on deletion effect of again, until the end of your opponent's turn, all of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5,000 DP. So that, if you do it all in the same turn, that stacks. So on your opponent's field, everything gets minus 10K. Literally nothing they are gonna be, not any, nothing, but most of what they're gonna be raising as well as anything they're just gonna be hard dropping will die. So this is a very good card for like when you're, when you're like a turn maybe two from, from winning, you digivolve into this and this helps you stay on top. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them down below. Leave a like in the video if you'd like to see more content like this. Subscribe to stay up to date when a new video comes out and hope to see you guys in the next one. Stay topping!